Welcome back everyone. You may be in a weird situation where for some reason your PlayStation 5 console, whether it's the digital or disc, for some reason cannot load any games that you're trying to load on it. Now we've had this same type of experience happen for so many PlayStation 4s and it's a very annoying issue and really every other console as well. So the very first thing you want to understand is that it's a common problem, it can be fixed very easily, but the very first thing you need to understand is whether or not you're playing a downloaded game or you're playing a restored game from a previous console. So if you went ahead and you know transferred all your data from a PlayStation 4 over to a PlayStation 5, then chances are for most of those games, if you went ahead and downloaded them or used them as a disc version and you're playing them on a you know PlayStation 5, you will have to either input that disc into the console itself or verify that you downloaded that specific game from the Sony store rather than you know some other store like sideloaded or something like that. So chances are if you have the opportunity, if you have a disc version of the PlayStation 5 and you still have the disc of that PS4, PS4 game, you may actually have to input that PS4 disc into the console itself in order for it to fully verify that it's a full PS4 game and that and that you didn't just download the game from the internet and just try to install it on your PlayStation 4. So that's the very first thing I'd recommend doing. But if you have a digital PlayStation 5, that's not really going to work out that well, mostly because you have to download it from the Sony store. So for all those downloads that you made from the Sony PlayStation Store, basically you're going to have to go into that PlayStation Store and verify your credentials, verify everything, and have to re-download them from the store itself. So if you just transferred your data and for some reason none of those games are opening, then you're actually going to have to wait and make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network or connected to an internet connection. So then, you know, those games in that console can verify that those games were downloaded from your account. So if you don't have access to internet connection, so I'd recommend doing is making sure your PlayStation 5 disc or digital version is connected to an internet connection. And if it is, then it should be able to go ahead and verify that those games are downloaded or, you know, were downloaded from your account. And it'll go ahead and either start the downloading process or it'll start the loading process. So if none of the games are opening or anything, then most probably you're going to have to wait until those games are fully downloaded. But as long as you're connected to a Wi-Fi or internet connection, then your console will be able to go ahead and verify that you're the actual owner of those games and not just, you know, someone else using a pirated and not someone who's just trying to, you know, play downloaded games from the internet or anything like that. So that's the very first thing I'd recommend. If that doesn't work for some reason, another thing I'd recommend doing is actually going ahead and restarting your console. This can fix a lot of issues you would never even realize it sounds so easy, but it's literally the first thing I'd recommend everyone doing for the most part after the first thing I already said. So go ahead, reboot your console and then go ahead and go through. And if that doesn't end up working, the next thing you can go ahead and do is boot your console into safe mode. So in order to put your PlayStation 5 in safe mode, all you wanna do is go ahead and hold down, first power off your PlayStation 5, then hold down that power button until you know you hear two beeps. It usually takes about 10 seconds. Once you go ahead and do that, you'll be presented into your safe mode screen. All you wanna do at this point is select the option that says rebuild database, and it'll go ahead and take a couple seconds up to a couple minutes. And once it's done rebuilding, you can go ahead and reboot your console back into the regular mode and see if your console is fixed now. Most probably it may actually be fixed at this point, but if not, I would recommend rebooting your console or just deleting those games from your whole entire library of your console and then reinstalling them, going to the PlayStation Store and reinstalling that way. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it me so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.